current attempts at providing alternative privacy-first monetization strategies for the web have focused on very narrow use cases. Right now, the existing spec, web monetization, serves a single purpose, streaming micropayments to web pages that you are visiting. But the necessary underlying infrastructure to make this work is huge and really complex. Indeed, like beyond the initial monetization link or the meta tag, you need a whole financial network composed of real companies interacting with each other to receive and send payments on behalf of their customers. And you also need a dedicated protocol, the Interledger protocol, or ILP, to enable this network. From a browser engineering perspective, that's suddenly a whole new layer of potential security and privacy concerns. And if that wasn't enough by itself, it's also a layer that operates in a plane that's really unfamiliar to browser engineers. So let me give you an example. A naive interpretation of KYC compliance, which is a financial services term that stands for know your customer, would make it impossible to serve the web anonymously. Every page you would visit and stream money to would have to identify you. And I mean, of course, like this completely violates basic privacy expectations of web users. Thankfully, this is not how web monetization works. But my point is that all of these constraints that come from financial services compliance are completely new to browser engineers. And that makes it way more complicated for them to do reasonable assessments of privacy and security concerns in the Interledger protocol and the related specs. As a result, this makes asking browser vendors to implement the Interledger protocol for the only purpose of enabling web monetization a very big request, especially when you think about the business model of the main players in that field. You can really wonder what's in it for them. And so I have bad news. No browser vendor is going to implement and then have to maintain something that complex for such a narrow use case. So even if browsers were offered a ready-made implementation, I mean, this is open source after all, it would stay behind the flag and slowly decay there. For the cost of building such an implementation and then assessing its privacy and security risks and then maintaining it, there needs to be much more value provided to the browser vendors. And that's a long-winded way of saying that the Interledger protocol has to serve more use cases. And that at least some of these use cases must have direct benefits for the browser vendors who are going to implement and maintain this technology. So we have a fairly well mapped out path here. First, we need to identify and collect web monetization use cases which need an underlying micropayment infrastructure of the kind that the Interledger protocol enables. And we can look for those on the web, but also beyond. Those that come to mind are things like tipping, new subscription models, one-off purchases, digital goods, but also podcasting or email newsletters, for example. A good way to get started with this would be to organize a workshop and convey organizations and people that have been experimenting in that space. The goal would be to better understand what they are missing from the web platform to enable their use cases. W3C has been quite successful at organizing such workshops in the past, and I think it would be great to get their help here. Then, once those use cases are identified and we have a better sense of the missing bits in the platform, we can start identifying the low-level building blocks, those Lego bricks that would be required to enable these use cases. It's highly probable that such blocks would be helpful to enable those use cases, but also completely different use cases on the platform. For example, the Trust Token API, which is designed for the ad industry in good part, is based on the privacy pass protocol, which itself can significantly improve the privacy of web monetization. 
I strongly believe that enabling a broad set of use cases through these low-level primitives, these Lego bricks, is our key to enabling new privacy-first monetization strategies on the web and beyond. Thank you.